Okay, so today what we are doing is moving this mess of a setup, including the television, over to here. Now I'm gonna have to clear this out, but what's on here is gonna go on here eventually. So I'm gonna have to make a bit of a mess on the floor. I have these speakers here. These two will be used. This one, I'm not sure. Um, because I'm also going to be setting up a Dolby ProLogic surround system because I have these and you can actually fit speakers on it like this and I also have those so we're going to mess around with that I'm going to put one here somewhere and the other one around here I need to move the desk a bit without a space once the TV is off that should be pretty easy to move um, but yeah, I'm gonna first clear this out. Uh, probably can't record any of it because my camera is dead, so I'm just recording it on my phone. But yeah, we're gonna clear this. And then I need to ask my brother to help me move the television because it is heavy. Um, and then we're gonna move all this over and then we're gonna connect everything. And hope that in the end it all works. Uh, yeah. I have an outlet here that I can use. So it's pretty It's pretty good. We're also going to probably rearrange all of this. I'm going to keep the VHS tapes on this shelf because they look cool. But I want pretty much all the DVDs, including the ones up there, to go on here as well. So... I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go and start cleaning this out. I also need to take this off the wall, so I'm going to do that after this is all clear. Okay, this is now clear. The Everything that was on it is either here, all this media, the records, or it's on the bed, all the remotes. I'm probably going to just stash all the remotes somewhere because I have this. This is a universal remote, so it does focus. Come on. So it does basically everything. It's old, so it won't work with new equipment, but everything that I have is from the 90s or older. So that's not a problem. Uh, I'm going to get my brother to help me now. I'm going to move the television over. I need to take this off the wall first, but that's like four screws, maybe. And the TV will hopefully cover the uh, screw holes. Well, I think it will. TV comes through about here. Plus, we're going to put a speaker on top of it for the center channel for ProLogic, so it's going to be covered. Um, yeah, by the way, this is a system where you have these speakers for it, and you just slot them in. And that's how that looks. So yeah, I have, um, it's not a complete set, so I'm going to use one of these for the center channel. You normally wouldn't do that, but I mean, this, all, all the stuff that you've seen was either free, like given to me, or it cost me almost nothing. So like this amp was about 10 euro, the VCRs were free, like the TV was free, like... If I mess something up, big deal. Uh, I can get an amp used for like five dollars, so it's fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take this off, and then I'm gonna have my brother help me with the television, and then we're gonna move all of this equipment over and see if we can fit it all next to the television neatly. Okay, mount is off. You can see that focus. Come on. We're really going to do this anyway. You can see that the school holes are noticeable, but I'm hoping that the TV will cover them. Ugh. Okay, with some help from my brother, the TV's moved. Now, it won't quite cover the school holes, which is annoying. But, uh... There we go. It's not perfect, but it works. I'm going to just, uh... Yeah. Ugh. Do this a whole lot. I'm gonna have to do that a lot during this, during filming. 
Because pretty much everything hasn't been used for... Well, this TV has been used, but it hasn't been moved or cleaned in a year, maybe. So, I mean, this equipment is even worse. So, you can see if I just... So, yeah. Great. But, um... TV's moved. So... I'm thinking, like, I have loads of space left for all the stuff that I want to put here. I'm going to maybe move it back over a bit so I can put a speaker next to the TV. But I'm going to just see how things will fit. And, uh, and we'll see about plugging it in. I'm also going to need to program this remote. Because it is still tied to the old TV that we have downstairs, I believe. This also hasn't been used in years. So I'm going to have to see. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. Okay, so I just grabbed an extension lead that we're going to use for this project. Let's plug it in here. And I'm just going to check if the TV still works after moving it, because that's always quite scary. So, come on, there you go. Perfect. Sorry for the strobing, but you know, old TVs. There we go. But yeah, it survived moving, which is always quite scary when you move stuff like this. That has been there for a year, at least. Uh, yeah. Next order of business is grabbing all this equipment, moving it over. I'm not going to move this VCR. It's very nice. However, um, it's got a, track, a few tracking issues. So I'm probably going to make... A stack and or like two stacks maybe i don't know but i want to add it in later um focus come on because it is much better than this one this unit is much older it won't do hi-fi audio which is kind of the whole point of this so we need to get this one fixed um it won't do svhs and yeah, it has some problems rewinding. Like it'll get up to the high speed and then it'll make a really awful noise and then it'll calm back down and we're going much slower, so it's not it's not ideal. Um it's not, not ideal at all actually. But it at least plays back properly. I'm actually looking for something now and I can't find it, which is annoying. Um, yeah, I have a SCART switch box that I'm going to use, I have to find it, it's in this mess. Okay, found it, so it's got some really ugly labels on it, but that doesn't matter, it's going to be behind the television. What this does is it has three SCARTs, so you plug stuff in, and then this end goes into the TV, and I can just hardware switch over. Um, it's a bit dodgy, but... That has certain advantages over those multiple ones where you just plug it in and it doesn't switch. I used one of those and this image quality deteriorated quite noticeably. Um, but with one of these I haven't really noticed the difference. So I'm just going to use this. Um, I'm going to plug PlayStation 2. Probably. Not sure actually. Maybe a Blu-ray player but anyway. Plug I play with some, some sort in VCR1 and VCR2, theoretically, when I repair it, which is going to be a video, because both of the VCRs are scarred, uh, Blu-ray player I'm going to have to check, it might be composite, but I have a, let's see what it is, down there, I have a composite to scarred adapter, so I can plug this in, the reason the TV does have composite on it, it has two scarts at the back, and it has composite here, if it focuses. But that's really ugly to have that hanging out of the TV like that. So if I can avoid it, I will. Um, but yeah, this is just going to run back here on the TV. I hope it'll reach. Maybe it doesn't. Then I'm going to have to rethink this. I'm going to just move it over again. 
and have the high five stack here because if it doesn't reach then there's no point i need to be able to press the button okay it didn't reach the tv is too wide but it's back here and it's got uh, plenty of slack on the cable see if i can get a light in here maybe come on light is a bit dodgy there we go i can see it a bit better it's back here this is kind of what I'm intending. Um, I want the speakers here. This is going to be front left and right. I'm going to put a speaker up here, double-sided tape it, because I have three of these round speakers. So I'm going to put one up here, tape it to the TV. Uh, not perfect, but again, if it's free, if it falls, I don't care. Um, but yeah, it's going to be like this. All the skirts and huge cable mess with loads of adapters and speaker wires are going to be back here. The hi-fi stack is going to be here, theoretically. Hopefully there's enough space. We'll test fit it in a bit. Uh, and then all the cable mess is going to be masked off because it's going to be here. And then uh, I will hopefully be able to mask it when all the cables running side here because I have about a two finger wide gap between this thing and the wall because it's mounted to the wall so it has to be space for the bracket that's kind of why that, that's also thought I'd explain that's why we're doing this because this cabinet is like it's solid this desk it's good but it's missing a middle leg which is fine it has metal bars under it that my dad did so it won't crack but it's bent, so you can't actually see it on camera at all. You can kind of now because you can see if you line up the window. So the window's there, that's straight, and the radiator is straight. And the VCRs are at an angle. TV back here is also at an angle, which is not ideal. Um, but this is solid, it's mounted to the wall as well, so it won't fall over for being top heavy if I open because this has all my clothes in it but I can open drawers without it falling over because it's mounted to the wall because it's kind of top heavy now because of this but uh, yeah I'm gonna grab this stuff except the PlayStation and the silver VCR because it's broken and we're gonna see if it fits uh, if it does, great if it doesn't, then oh, actually, crap I just realized I'm gonna have to do a bit of a thing because this amp gets really hot if you put loads of speakers on it which is what i'm gonna do so it really needs this airflow vent and i wanted to put the record player on top of it well that's not gonna work because it it'll suffocate then and break so i need to figure something out because uh, i don't want to live without the record player because i have like stacks and of records that's a problem. Uh, yeah. I might just put the record player... Hmm. That's actually an issue. Uh, I have an idea though. I can get a small table, put that here somewhere, put the record player on that, on this side, and then just one cables to the amplifier. That's what I'm going to do. Gonna have to get something or make something or whatever, but it'll work anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this minus the PlayStation, that one VCR, and the record player. The VCR, this it's I'm gonna have to spend an evening fixing it. So, ugh. Okay, so progress. Um, I decided to also not include the tape deck because it would honestly clash horribly. Because um, I've all got black and grey equipment here, so I'm going to put that on the table and I'm also going to put the record player on, probably. But uh, I decided to put the Blu-ray player here because it was it's hard to... It's not plugged in yet, so I can show you. It's way too narrow, so I couldn't, like, I have this much receiver left over, so I have to put it on top, because I can't put the receiver on top of it, because it's too... It's not... It doesn't fit properly, it'll fall over. But uh, it's so narrow that I can put it on top of the television without, like, it's kind of ventilation back here, without obstructing it. So I can just have it on top of the TV. 
which works. Um, yeah. Annoyingly, this is really irritating, this player has component, composite, and HDMI, but it doesn't have SCART, which is extremely frustrating, because SCART is a superior connector, and it would definitely make DVDs look a lot better if I could use it, but uh, fortunately I come with this player, which is annoying. But uh, yeah, it also has coax out, but I don't need that. I have a Logic processor built into this amp, so it'll work. Um, but yeah, that's just an irritating bit about this player. But uh, it can play. I can obviously with Blu-rays on it. So that's an advantage. I don't want to just replace it with a DVD player because I don't really enjoy watching movies with other people. I enjoy watching them by myself. And all movies my parents buy nowadays, on physical copies anyway, like Netflix is a thing, but if we buy a physical movie, then it's going to be on Blu-ray because we have a Blu-ray player downstairs and a full HD TV. But this means that I can still watch those movies by myself if I just borrow them from my parents, even if it's not going to be in full HD. Because uh, obviously, you know, but I don't care about that. Annoyingly, the school holes in the wall aren't covered, which is extremely frustrating. But um, yeah, I'll be able to see what I can do about those. They're really deep too, because those were really big screws. Like nothing is sitting here. Uh, but yeah, a bit annoying, but... So I was hoping I could put the TV here, but obviously I can't because of the cable. So yeah, we're gonna have to see what's up. But yeah, what we are going to be doing is just hooking up everything here, or well, most of it. Um, I have a composite cable that's right here that is gonna go on that. I'm just gonna plug in back here, I'm not sure how well you can see this if at all, to that switch box. So, that's not plugged in. Now, uh, we can move this around, move this over. There we go, this is now good. Um, next is the VCR, so I'm just gonna pop a scar cable in here and that's gonna go back here and also plug into if I can reach oh scart is such an annoying connector but the quality is good so It's done. Right. There we go. Set it to the Blu-ray, just to make sure that this all works. Uh, turn on the TV. I just want to make sure that we have connectivity. Just going to open the tray. That's not right. It's not the correct one. Uh, yes, there we go. So, that's just the Blu-ray player starting up. Um, it's not going to do anything. I mean, don't have a disc in, so it's just gonna. Ooh, okay, it's gonna show me the menu. I think. Anyway, uh, let's see let's see if we can go to. Is this remote dead? No, there's something. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can see due to the storming of the TV, but this is just the uh, the menu on the Blu-ray. So I'm gonna turn it off, and I want to test out the VCR. Now there's a quick way that I can do that. Um, I can switch it over. So we're now on the VCR. I'm just gonna put a tape in it. 
and play it with the sound muted. Okay, it says it's playing, but I don't see it. What's gone wrong here? Because it's only correct. Okay, so this cable is a bit broken. And it's really noisy. Uh, let's see if that did anything. Let's plug it back in. No, still really noisy. I'm gonna very quickly swap it. Okay, plugged it in now, and it's looking so much better. Yeah, this is also a thing. This artifacts, this TV, if I plug this in, which is odd. But it shouldn't, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so this works now. I have video feed. Now, you might have noticed, uh, not sure, but how... This is what I mean, this... Listen. It's broken, this VCR is rewind, but... I have here a 3.5mm to Phono, if it focuses. And what I'm going to do, is I'm going to grab the Phono headphone out on the television. I'm going to run this cable behind it. And I can plug that into the receiver. Blu-ray, it's a bit more straightforward. Because I have these two coming from the composite, and I can just plug that straight in. So I have these two audio outs, one for the TV and one for the Blu-ray. And then, what I'm going to do, the tape set up here. What I can do is I can actually plug the tapes tape out, if I can get it. So that's this one for the record, and I can plug that into the line input on the EQ. And then, theoretically anyway, I might have to switch this back over, I forgot exactly what the labeling meant this thing, but theoretically, if I plug this into here, so I can just use the tape monitor, um, there we go, in a setup with the receiver. So now, if I set the receiver to listen to tape 1, uh, tape monitor 1, it's actually going to play back on the EQ. So that way I can disable and enable the equalizer pass-through, which is really nice. Uh, this is the Blu-ray. So I am actually going to plug that into the DVD, because that makes sense. That's what I use that for. I'm going to plug the VCR into tape 1 VCR in so like the VCR that's just the TV audio looped but uh, it's fine it works uh, next we need to do a speaker wire I have a boatload of speaker wire sitting in there so I need to cut that to length but it should be doable anyway um, yeah this tape's gonna Oh, here, come eject it. Um, yeah. Anyway, it should be good. Um, I'm gonna grab some speaker wire and we're gonna see if we can hook up front left and front right. Okay, so I've currently got ProLogic all set up. I have a speaker here with a subwoofer in the base, a speaker here with a woofer in the base. So I have like bassy sound from the back as well. I have sent the speaker. I need to tape this, but I can hold it for now while I've been testing. 
Uh, and yeah, it's been really good. I'm just about to pop in a DVD and uh, I'm just going to see how that sounds with Prologic on it. In theory, quite well. I have the equalizer all set up. So that's doing its thing. I need to kind of fine tune this, but it works. Let's see what we get. I'm the wrong source. Of course it is. There it is. Okay, so focus, come on, focus. Why? Why are we doing this? Come on. I just want you to focus. Or oh, whatever. I just had a movie playing. Um, I've been listening to the sound of this through DVD, and it's it's excellent. The spatial sound is definitely there. The center is lacking because, of course, it's pointed up as it is, which is not perfect. I'm gonna tape this this evening. Uh, when my dad is done with work, so he can tell me, like, he can give me some of the tape because I don't have any in my room. Equalizer is working, as you can see. I have this amputated. So you can see, kind of, if I turn the light off, you can see the view meter is dancing away. Um, yeah, for an analog EQ, this is still doing really well. I have, as you can see, I've tuned the bass up a bit. I've turned the mids down a little bit because I obviously do not have a subwoofer in this setup. So the bass was lacking if I left it stock, but um, with this tuning, it now puts a lot of the bass emphasis on the front left and right, which is honestly excellent because these speakers are really powerful, and if you're just sitting here, it's like actually perfect. Like the amount of bass and voice and everything, it's absolutely perfect because the center now takes takes care of the mids and the highs because these speakers are not great for that. But uh, the bass is now handled by this. And of course I have subwoofers at the back here, which also do some of the lifting for um, explosions and crap that happens at the back. But uh, yeah. Of like for logic on that's saying take two on the screen because I have the so I have the equalizer routed on the tape monitor. So if I have that on I can enable and disable it. If I disable it the monitor, the sound is still getting passed through it for recording if it was a tape deck. And if I enable it I actually hear the EQ. Um, I could turn it off at the EQ itself. And that's basically what I'm always gonna do. Because if I do that, you can see that the spectrum changes and it also reflects the amount of noise coming through. Obviously it's not constant. Um, if you know this movie well, this is a part where they're quiet a lot. But if I enable this, you can see a bit more bass, because that's what I've pre predefined it to do. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's perfect, honestly. This COT is beautiful, it's widescreen, I love it. There's a bit of noise and artifacting in the picture, even on DVDs, just simply because of the uh, composite, like the composite output. I want to get a Blu-ray player at some point that the SCART. I've had one, but it broke, so I want to find one that can do it, um, so that I can get a nice crisp, you know, RGB-ish picture. But uh, yeah, in terms of cable mess, this is here. This is gonna go behind the boxes. Uh, once I have time, because I'm currently tired, uh, I'm going to add that behind the pile. And then for the rest of it, this cable thing can go, you know, up behind it. And uh, for most of it, it's hidden. Um, if you're just standing here, then almost all of it is hidden. There is this power cable. Uh, that's, I think, for the VCR. But I need to lift this up and wrap that behind. It somehow got stuck when I moved it. Like I slid it over, but... Uh, yeah, for what it is, the setup, you know, made up of free stuff or very inexpensive equipment. It sounds, to my ears, wonderful. And, uh, yeah, picture quality is nice. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is clean up this a bit. So I'm going to try to free this. Just by, because I have now space here, here, and there. 
So I'm going to try to move some of the stuff underneath this desk, so now I have space for to put stuff on it, and then I'm going to move all of this stuff on there. Next order of business is moving maybe these boxes uh, up on that shelf. If I have, if I sort this these bins out, they can pretty much go in these boxes as well. If I sort them out with stuff I have warranty for, uh, because obviously they have no use because some of this stuff, like this box for example, can go. I just need to clean this up a bit, and then I have space pretty much anything else so because once this is gone then I can put a table here that will house the record player the cassette player uh, what else oh yeah the other VCR once I repair that it's gonna be uh, a weekend project for me it's currently Friday so I've more than enough time in the weekend to do thing to do things uh, but yeah this desk needs so uh, needs sorting I'm all gonna feature this currently um, this corner of this room, stand back a bit, this corner of the room is now perfect. I have a beastly focus. Come on. Are we really going to do this? I'm tapping, trying to focus, whatever. But this corner of this room is looking really nice now. Like, it's, yeah, this looks a bit messy, but it's at least organized and it's stacked kind of neatly, so... I'm not gonna bother about that. I have this beastly setup. Interesting. From this distance, do you can barely see strobing. Anyway, yeah, uh, I'm gonna clean this desk up and uh, watch some more of this movie. Okay, so the conclusion: uh, the setup is off because it's been powered on and off, powered on and off all day. So I'm just giving it a break. Uh, the floor is like. That's it with stuff from me cutting speaker wire, but uh, just gonna vacuum clean it after dinner, I think. And I'm also gonna tape the uh, center speaker down on the, on the Blu-ray player like that, so that it sticks and doesn't roll back off. But uh, I'm gonna do that off camera. The mess on the floor, on the media, I've stacked it up here. Um, this shelf is still unchanged. I want to put most of it here, but I can't for now because that switch is here and I have to figure something better out because it's a clunky setup. That basically does all of upstairs networking, including upstairs Wi-Fi. There's a router hanging behind my bed there, so it's not perfect at all and it has constant issues, but I'm going to figure out a way to fix that. And yeah, the... Uh, Devices here, these are just sitting waiting on the shelf. The VCR is waiting to be fixed. That's going to be another video. Uh, the cassette deck is so heavy and massive that it's able to hold my stack of records, which is very good. So then I can store, I can store them properly now, so that they won't warp or do something stupid. These, the back one here is a bit curved, but it's a record that I honestly, wait, is it? Let me check. Yeah, it's a record that I don't care about at all, so if this gets damaged a bit, then who cares. Actually, I might just put this in front of it. Why is that too large? Nope, it fits. Perfect. Now there's a metal thing in front of it so it won't crush the record. Perfect. Now, this is sitting here for now. It's, it's staying, which is good. I can tap it, I can move it. It's fine, the desk can handle it, it's reinforced, so it's all good. Uh, these two DVDs are here because I'm going to watch these. I've been waiting to and I haven't been able to watch DVD on my old setup. So luckily now I can, in glorious ProLogic surround as well, once I fix that. But uh, yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, this is hanging over a little bit, but as you can see the feet they still touch, so probably a problem. I could move them against the speaker, but uh, I don't want the vibrations of the speaker like transmitting into the video, like into the VCR with all the moving parts in it. It's not good. Not a good idea. This one I should actually move it out a little bit so it doesn't touch the TV. This one as well, so it's in the middle. Perfect. But yeah, uh, I've been testing pretty much all day as I've been installing this. 
this cable one's down there, I'm gonna move it behind. I'm gonna run it nicely once I clean this corner of the room. G5 has been moved slightly, but uh, yeah, it'll fit. So if I roll my chair and sit right in front of the TV, I have Pro Logic and everything. It's a bit of a shame now that it's on this corner of the room that I can't watch it from my bed because obviously my head is there. But I might just flip the bed over once this mess is gone. Like once I've cleaned, and also under the bed is a lot of junk. Once I've cleaned that out, then I can move the bed over, and then I can just like literally pull the bed off, like over it and flip it, so so that I can still watch uh, watch TV in bed. But uh, yeah, for now that concludes the video. I'm just gonna fix this after dinner when my dad is free to help me with it. Uh, but yeah, for the rest of it, that concludes it. In terms of cable mess. Uh, behind here, if you can see, you can a little. Yeah, it's not too bad because it's all back here. And if you're just looking at it, you would never see. So, extension lead is a bit. It's falling a bit. Oh wait, I uh, put the uh, subwoofer back, and it's kind of sitting on its cable. No, it's not. It's free. Fine. All good. A slack. So to put this up back without moving any of this stuff because it could be bothered. But uh, yeah, it's looking good. So that concludes the video. See you in the next one.